I absolutely love my PVC watering system. I do, I truly do. It was a great turn from the drip system, the vinyl tubing and the little fittings and the drip emitters and the plugs and all that. Those things just leaked way too much, got clogged too much, caused lots of issues for me. So I, I discovered this from, I think, Kansas State University uh, outside and I converted it for an inside. But the, one of the problems is that going through a cage, if it goes through a cage, it's hard to move this. So the other day I was watching, I'm, I'm subscribed to a guy and I saw that he had a uh, bigger piece of PVC he was watering with, a header. It was bigger than three quarter inch. And somehow he was coming out of the top of it down into to water something else. And I'd never seen that before. So I asked him about it and he told me what he used. And that's how we're going, where we're going now. Let me show you. And this is my hose PVC attachment and that's so I can bring a portion of the watering system out like this example here. So this is essentially my watering system. You see here is three quarter inch tubing and I have it capped in the whole greenhouse and I drill it with the number 57 drill bit. And you can see the hole there and that is what the hydroponic pump pumps through to all every bucket has at least a hole in it like that and that's how all my plants get fed okay I took a 3 8 inch drill bit and I drilled it exactly where the other hole was this is just a test piece to pipe for the whole system but I, I drilled a 3 8 inch hole and in that hole I put a 3 8 inch outside 1 quarter inch inside top hat grommet and placed it in there. Now in that grommet I inserted this hose here and this hose is 3 6 inch 3 16 of an inch black tubing. You can see it's 100 feet. I wanted to show you the different emitters I used to use. This one is a fan type. You plug it in and if you unscrew it the more you unscrew it the more it fans out. These are like one gallon per hour and two gallon per hour. I can't quite remember. I think the reds are two gallon per hour and uh, the blacks are one gallon per hour. And these things used to clog up all the time and it frustrated me so much. That's one of the main reasons why I switched. Not to mention the leaking when you poke this into the vinyl hose. Now the emitter I bought was a clean out kind and I bought a hundred of these and I think they were seven or something dollars per 25 but it's got a little flap on it you can see it there and this is the channel I guess it reduces the water pressure so put it in the hose here let me put it in and I'll show you what it looks like so this is that emitter and it looks kind of comparable to the other emitters with it uh, if you turn them around seems like now there's no way to judge for sure but the important thing with this one compared to the others is I can clean them out now if this doesn't do like I'd want it to do I'm gonna come up with another method to reduce it okay and this is what it looks like now these are my top hat grommets with the vinyl tubing going up to emitters and this has a couple advantages over the other one one is, if I want to move it, I just simply take it out. I can move the pot, even if it's got a cage on top. And just uh, plug it right back in. And uh, these are lower. And you can see here that this rises up above the supply pipe. And these holes are on top also. And what that does is, every time the water kicks on from the timer, these start dripping immediately because the water doesn't drain back out. So that's really cool. Now with this, also what you can do is you can change the amount of drippers you have in each one. I've got a dang cat that found a home here 
and she sleeps under my broccoli in the water culture bin. <laughs> this is where Snow, my wife's new name for the cat, Snow, doesn't look anything like Snow, but this is where she sleeps, right in here. Freaked me out. I came over here, I was just looking at things like I always do. Checking out the broccoli, you know, you can see it's forming some heads there. So I was looking and I saw two eyes <laughs> stare back at me, about jumped out of my shorts. So <laughs> she gets to stay here, I guess. She's a pretty cat. She's a real pretty cat. But anyway, most things they get a single emitter and that does just fine. But some things like squash or anything, anything I want actually, potatoes, anything, they may get two emitters or maybe even three, and it works just, just fine. On the bigger, the three uh, platform fawns, in other words, it's got three rows of, uh, is it 30, 30 pots growing? You can see here that I've got a four way splitter and it comes up from the bottom over here and it splits off here and it feeds this one one to the left and the one to the right uh, of that so I'm, I'm really happy it supplies a nice even flow no matter where it is in the system so th this is an overall improvement as long as these emitters don't clog on me and so far I've been running these for about a week and a half to two weeks I believe and uh, so far so good so here's crossing the fingers and here's hoping this is brent you guys with the new pvc watering system come here kitty come here kitty i guess if she's gonna sleep in the greenhouse and the wife is going to feed her, she's probably not going to leave. She's such a pain, isn't she? She's such a pain in the butt. Look at her. Annoying the dickens out of me.